she want to listen to me. Girl says she want to hear my version. What up, it's your girl Duchess from VH1's Black Ink Crew. And it's your boy Caesar. And y'all are chilling with Sakara. Y'all better tune in and watch all of the good gossip in the media. Because that's who got it. Word. She kind of cool, too. She got wild we women all got She's trying, but they don't sound like that. Nigga, I'm going to get it today. Nice to give a damn. Y'all on island. Now you sound like an Irish person. Any island, I don't care. Irish island, too. What the hell was that? <laughs> That's an Irish <laughs> Jamaican uh, accent. Like, let me move it over. Let me move it. It's not that Irish. Nice. You know what I mean? No more watching nah, Cardi B. Please. Because nah. uh, Cardi B got the down south accent. She got the Bronx accent. She got the Dominican accent. And then she got the Trini accent. Okay, what's up? It's your girl, Sakara Sashay. And you see where I'm at. Black Ink Crew. We're talking about Jamaican, Irish. We're doing everything. So, you sound like wild fake, so don't do that anymore. No I'm sorry. Baby, you're Jamaican. Oh, that was... Both Don't ignore too. your Jamaican roots. <laughs> so let me ask you guys, you've had the show for a while. What is life like now? Life is different. Yes. It's a gift and a curse. Mm -hmm. It's really dope sometimes for people to know you. Well, she told me, I'm a rock star. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I walk where anyway people know me. I'm oh, stopping their car, all that shit. I'm that motherfucker. Just say it with me. I'm that motherfucker. Say it. He that motherfucker. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, continue. Right. So wait, what's the craziest fan story? Because I know you guys have fans running up. There we go. Alright. <laughs> yeah, because I'm about like, eh. I didn't know what was going to happen okay. next. So I had to thank you for giving me right. So tell me, what's the craziest fan story you guys have? Oh, I'll give you one. One time we was in Philly at the tattoo convention, and it was this lady, and her baby was latched onto the nipple, like literally latched, like <laughs> sucking the milk out of the titty, and she still wanted to take a picture with the baby latched to the nipple, and the baby was in the picture like it was crazy. That's but we took way too much. Okay, so you guys are supportive. That's what's up. And you guys got to eat too. For real. For real. And you guys are on 125th now. Congratulations on the new shop. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Tell me, what is it like now? What, what made you guys change the, the shop? Shit. You been to the last shop? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that shit like, answer your question. Yes. Like, truthfully. What do you think is the first? Hold on, let me finish answering my damn question. That's why I be talking about it. I like to interview people. Oh, you want to interview? All right, so what, what, what do you think about the last shop? All right, so for me, I thought it was dope, you know, because that's the only shop that we've seen on TV. I mm -hmm. came here and I was like, wait, where am I? Because I have been to the last one. Um, I think it's definitely like a good neighborhood. It's really close to the Metro North. So. What's a good neighborhood? Right here. Oh, I thought you were talking spot. about the old black guy. Woo, check our temperature. We didn't do that. <laughs> All right, so that's dope. And you have a new shop now. Congratulations Thank in North you. Carolina. So what's the difference between the Dutch shop and the Caesar shop? I mean, that's a lot of people's minds. I feel like with a lot of people, they're putting us in like this competition spectrum when that's not at all what it is. Just like you see me here today, I'm working at Black Ink. Just this weekend, Caesar's working at Pretty and Ink. Like we're, we're building a conglomerate. We're trying to build a household name. So for us, we're not in competition with each other. Black Ink is Caesar's dream. It's what Caesar you know, aspires Black Ink to be. And with Pretty and Ink, it's what I aspire Pretty and Ink to be. You know, we're both tattoo artists and we both are very talented at what we do, but our vision of what a business should be is slightly different. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's several tattoo, tattoo shops in this city, in North Carolina, around this country, that have different models than what our business has. And they're still successful in their own right. What, what I think it is with us, we just, my shop definitely has a feminine Duchess touch to it. Mm -hmm. That's just it's what called it is. pretty. Ink. What do you think? Like, yeah. yeah. And then you got black ink with, you know. We hug. We hug. I didn't want to say it, <laughs> but we, my, we, my, we, we, my amazing we nigga boyfriend. We're niggas. But at the end of the day, look at this shop. Look how luxurious this shit look. It's not like the old black ink. We actually oh, into something mm -hmm. different. You know what I mean? Like, back then it worked for that shop. We was across the street from the project. That's basically the hood I grew up in. And now it's time to step out into new, new things. Like, I was scared to leave the hood. Like, I'm not even going to tell you no lie. I'm still scared being on 125th Street because now you just put a big, how can you say, you put, you big, put, excuse me, you, big, you put a big target on your back when you make a move like this. When you come on 125th Street, you got to understand, it's all type of franchises, 
125th Street is basically franchised out. We got Red Lobster, we got Wingstop, we got all these franchises. Applebee. Applebee. They moved us basically out of our own hood. And I felt like this is the only way we could get a little <laughs> bit back. And Black Ink, since we have the name, we can get on 125th Street. But you notice how hard it is just to get a store from 125th Street. I had to go to the second floor. What by next year? I'll be back. I'll be downstairs. Don't worry. You're right. Levels to this. There's levels to this. You exactly. know what I mean? For real. And speaking of this, you have the Black Ink Crew in Chicago, mm -hmm. and I want to know how did that come about, and why Chicago? Well, what happened was VH1 was trying to shop it around to a couple of other states, mm -hmm. trying to duplicate the magic they create with okay. us, which I don't know why. First city they tried, to... it didn't even succeed at all. It, it failed before it could even be picked up as a series. Okay. So when they tried out Chicago and it worked, and those are people that we actually know, it was kind of just, you know, a match made in heaven. The people that they first tried it with, we didn't even know those guys. And that's probably why it didn't work, just because they weren't anything like us. When you talk about Nomag, you talk about Ryan, you talk about Four, you talk about people that we've been in this industry with, that we've known and we've grown to, to be more than just tattoo artists. Like, that's like our family. Those are the homies. Yeah. Like when we go out to Chicago, we just in Chicago. Yeah, we stay at Ryan's parents' house. Ryan's parents know us. Yeah. Ryan knows our parents. Ryan comes over yeah. here and vice versa. Yeah. And, and Ford and Dawn, all of we all know each other. So honestly, it's just an extension of our family. Okay, definitely. So as far as being inspirational, because you know everybody looks up to you guys. There's not that many artists out there who have a TV show, and especially being African American. So, you, what? Are you trying to say we role models or something? Yes, uh, you guys definitely are. Hold on, I ain't no role model. You know what I mean? Right, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing as a young black man. I feel like I'm supposed to have my own business. I'm supposed to be my own boss. I'm supposed to take over this industry that wouldn't let me in. Because you should let me in in the beginning and I wouldn't be so hostile. Now I got me on my bullshit. That's it. All right. She's the, she, you give her all that. She is, she, she's the one that wants, oh, girls, you got to do this, you got to do, I'm the one who said, yo, you better put that work in and get this money. Other than that, I'm, I'm not too deep. <laughs> okay, so I was really asking that question, you know, for the artists out there that are new, they want to make it big in the tattoo industry. So All right, let me, get my, let, me get, let me get my advice. Nigga, go chase that money. Work hard and work harder. You can't sleep, you can't shit, you can't eat. You work, get money. All right. You know, let somebody back up, lock up on me. Fuck around, die, fuck around with you. It's all right. This hospitals. We got Obamacare. They be okay. Okay. <laughs> what? This is my interview, mommy. I can curse all I want. And it's my shot. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mommy said, you can't do it. You can't. You don't know say it, mommy. Say it. Say it, mommy. You can't. This is when you go and tell those people to Ain't that how you say it? You can't. Tell them the talent that I'm having them. That's what. That's why right too. But tell them to you can't on. talk like this. Shut up, woman. <laughs> I'm learning. Me and mommy gonna have a tutorial tonight. <laughs> All night I'm dreaming Jamaica. Me gonna speak. Me gonna speak so he know. Like his mommy. <laughs> <laughs> me gonna do it. <laughs> Enough things. <laughs> Enough things are gone. Just because you got dread, you not Bob Marley. Hey, I'm learning. I'm learning from original. <laughs> Don Dada over there, mama. You don't know. She done been back a couple of decades. She gonna teach me. Really? This, this just just interview. to let y'all know, in the next interview, I might just speak straight to make it a whole time. I mean, me might speak patois the whole time, you know? No, we don't know. <laughs> What's the next question? <laughs> Lastly, I'm gonna wrap this up. You know the election's coming up. Obviously, I know you guys. Oh, man, I don't want to This hear nigga is O.D. Trump. He should have Trump. It might you be Trump tattooed on the side of his forehead. Don't worry, though. I'm going to stab him before he go I vote. I was ready. Okay. So he can speak. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You believe her? You really believe her? I'm, I'm, I'm already getting ready to say I know you're not voting for Trump. So we're Oh, no. Vote. If you would have said that, I'm not be This is what C's would have said. I'm going to be C's right now. Me a black Republican. Me voting for Trump. <laughs> Trump ruled it right. He's going to make all of the money. He's going to make everything good. That's his. That's how he talks. All right, I'm going to be honest with you, right? He Jamaican. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you, right? I'm not going to tell you who I like in this politician race because that is my choice. You know what I mean? Mind your business, woman. But at the end of the you day... You know everything? No, no, no. You don't know nothing. So, 
<laughs> this is how I feel about it. No matter what they promise us, we never going to get it. At the end of the day, you got to look for the best choice who's going to look out for their pockets. And the crumbs, that's what we get. The bigger the crumbs we get, the more money we crumbs get. Crumbs Trump. Yeah, the crumbs is Trump. Sometimes we get it mm -hmm. And that's with Obama. So at the end of the day, all I want is money. I really don't care who runs this country. You want the money? What's wrong with you? You drunk? No, I just like them. No. I'm really feeling no. this. Like the next time we go to Jamaica, yeah. I'm going to talk about You're this. You're going to get us trip. kicked off the island. You know, your real, your real Jamaican blood, they can't kick me no way. I said, you're going to get pot. kicked off. Me pot. You see this ring? You see this ring? I can't do yeah, nothing this about ring, that. This ring make me pot. No, it's a, a pot. What are you, the, a pot? The ring make me pot. What pot? What is she talking about? That ring is gorgeous. I don't know what she's talking about. Cause the ring it's just blind. Yeah, it's it. It's, it. it's okay, girl. I got you, girl. Yeah, I like, I like it. it. I like it. Respect. So. And that's courtesy of Caesar. <laughs> yes. And thank you for watching. We are with the Black and Crew. Make sure you check out their show. Season dropping next week. April 4th. Tune in. A lot of drama. A lot of headaches. A lot of aggravation. But we still need y'all to tune in because I want my bonus. I'm going to just keep it a buck. I want my check. So go on and tune in, y'all. What bonus? You getting the bonus? Oh, yeah, I'm getting the bonus. I'll put in a good word for you, too, baby. Don't worry. We, we going to get the bonus. Don't worry, baby. I got it. Why, why? That's right. Why, why? No, it's a bonus. What, mom? What, mom? We come here. Why, why? Tell about the art. I love how you look from front and